Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Madness here, joined with Project Game, bringing you guys another G2O video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I enjoy making these. Now, uh, today we got we got some stuff to talk about. As anybody knows, we got Battlefield coming out tomorrow. We got Battlefield tomorrow, I think it is, right? Uh, tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, for all the early access people. I like that. I like it a lot. I cannot wait to play. I'm gonna be playing that a lot. That's like the biggest news. You know? It's gonna be an everyday like thing. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Seriously, like, like my gaming of any other game is gonna stop tomorrow. As soon as I get my my uh, code entered, like no more gaming for me for anything else. It's gonna be all about it. So I am actually hyped for it. I cannot wait to play it. Playing the beta was amazing. I'm just gonna snipe and do stupid ass shit that people look at me like, wow, how do you do that? I'm like, I don't know. It took me 60 tries, but I did it once. <laughs> That's gonna be me. We're gonna be bringing some videos from Battlefield 1 over here. Talk, about, talk about the interesting weapons in Battlefield. There's a uh, like baby pistol coming in. Two, the 2 millimeter pistol. I, I forgot the name of it. It's 2 millimeter something. It holds 170 rounds. And then on top of that, it's 7 rounds, I think. 7 or 9 rounds in the clip. I'm not sure how many, how many, but I don't think it'd be very much. It doesn't think it would be very much. If it was a lot, you know, like a normal pistol. You'd be like, I got all the little bullets inside that. They said it's a. They said it's a three to five shot headshot to kill someone, or it's a. Uh, it's a seven or nine clip shot to the body to kill somebody. Wow. So basically, if you're using that pistol, don't miss. Yeah, using pretty that much. Pistol, you can get some Either that or shot stay up. up close and personal. <laughs> Definitely stay up close and personal. Oh yeah. There's no way you're gonna All kill right. somebody at range with a two millimeter nah, pistol. Let's be honest. That's true. Let's be honest though. You, you can talk forever about Battlefield 4. Oh, not Battlefield 1. Oh, I guess even Battlefield 4 now. In fact, it still has a very strong community. The fact that it's, it's still, still going, since it's, 64 yeah, people. it's been here since like, it's what, amazing. 2011, people... 2012? I don't know, it's been here for a long fucking time, dude, and it still has a strong community. And it's like, well, what's gonna happen when Battlefield 1 comes out? Because it's not like Hardline, you know, Hardline didn't catch as many people as Battlefield 4 did, so Battlefield 4 stayed just fine throughout Hardline. But this... Well, I think, I think competitive-wise, because, you know, most of the generation that plays Battlefield is, uh, younger generation, just like any other video game anymore. Uh, no, I don't think it's the younger generation that play Battlefield. I think it's more older generation. Well, I don't know. There's some younger generation you that's waiting. A... Well, Battlefield 1, you gotta think about it. It just came out. And Everybody's been Battlefield 1, yeah. dude. Everybody is. Well, Let's be honest. The, the kids that are, like, 15, 16 are gonna have to wait till Christmas or something, you know? Yeah, kids don't have their money. Kids that don't have $103 to spend on the game for pre order. Yeah, it's expensive. <coughs> not me. It's expensive, I'm not gonna lie. It, but it's worth the money. It's, oh, it's I mean, a good game. It. I mean, you can buy you can, I hope it. Well, you can pre order the basic game for, I think, 60 bucks, right? It's uh, 60 bucks. You can pre order 50, just the basic 50, game. 54 99 with uh, EA Sports. Yeah, just the playing access. game. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're nice because they started that, you know. Well, if you do this, you get this bonus and this. If you do this, you get this bonus and this. Like, if you pre order well, the $130 money, you got, like, you got early access, you know, like, like we have. We got early well, access. Well, not early access, we you get a lot more than early access. Yeah, you get a lot of game, gameplay that you can just play, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for it, dude. I'm, not, I'm really pumped for it tomorrow. I'm gonna, we're gonna stay up all night till 12 o'clock, and then we're just gonna fucking playing that shit, dude. No joke. No joke. Bring videos up as soon as possible, too. God, dude, I'm gonna have so many sniping montages. Like, just me blowing shit up that sniper. Cause that sniper, I don't know if they've ever done that before. How to say, you have the fucking 50 cows. Yeah. Cause those 50 cows are really fucking good, dude. I mean, when those typical vehicles, you do 20 full, uh, you do 20 shots to them. So. Not 20. You do 20, 20, 25 damage to it, so you can pretty much kill them. You know, but just the four or five shots exactly, you get. Exactly. 
So it, it's it's OP, but it's good OP. And basically, those vehicles aren't OP anymore. Well, and then actually, we have sh we have items to fire back at tanks. It's not like yeah, you know, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't do very much damage to tanks. You do like five damage to tanks, which kind of sucks. But it's still. But you don't you don't need anything that does a shit ton of damage to vehicles, you know. But it's still better than none. Because usually when you shoot a tank in Battlefield 4, you don't register hit markers or any damage skill. Okay, did you hear about the Gears of War movie? Uh, no. Universal Pictures is supposed to be helping with it. Really? That's actually kind of cool. I mean, well, a Gears of War movie has been the mate, uh, it's not the mate, but it's been the talk about for a number of years since Gears of War first came out. Right. You know, let's be honest. Nah, this is going to be based on Gears of War 4, because, you know, it's the new Gears of War. Does that make sense? It would make War. sense, but I wouldn't be surprised if they took it back to an older Gears of War. That's true, they could do Gears of War 3, I didn't think about that. That would make sense. Gears of War 3 video? Gears of War 3 was a very good game. That's true, it was a good game. I actually did play it. I'm not going to lie, that was the only Gears of War I actually ever played. Yeah, they. I think they should finish this movie. I don't know if they're going to, but I think they should. Well, they never started one. They, there was always kind of talk about there it. There was always debate, though. They've been in the process of making one for, like, what? Five years? Three years? Something like time. that? A very long time, dude. Alright, speak about games that need to be turned into, uh, movies. You know, you got Fallout. That would be a great movie. The Last of Us, dude, I'd be I'd cry during that movie. I'll be a man, I'll cry, I know what I do. Uh, there's so many games that can be made into a movie, that would be amazing. You know, and you got Gears of War possibly doing it, but speaking about Fallout 5, 4. Uh, it was a bit of both. Speaking about Fallout 4, there was a voice actor that, that was in Fallout 4, may or may not have leaked a possible few words, choicey words that he had mentioning a new Fallout game. What would that be? I don't know. Fallout 5? Yeah! Yeah, I know. Fallout 5. It's not been confirmed. No That's, way. Uh, how the fuck they say their name? Fallout 5, you know. But look at it this way. The last time we had any chance of knowing about Fallout 4, the tweet, in 2010. Now, we didn't know about this right away. We didn't know what it was for. We didn't know what it meant. But the creators of Skyrim, they were saying that as soon as they get done, with their new game. They didn't say what game, they said their new game. As soon as they get down to a new game, they're going to go right into the pre-production of another game. That game wasn't released for five years. Guess what game that was? Can you guess? Fallout 4? Yeah, it was Fallout 4. Five years of Fallout 4. Now, I wouldn't say expect Fallout 5 in the near future. Unless to you, five years is in the near future. Now, it actually may take longer, it might not, because, you know, Fallout 4 was an amazing game. It was a huge, huge game. To speak about that, you would think, well, there's more technology, there's better technology. Maybe, just maybe, it won't take five years. But at the same time, they have new technology, means they're going to add new shit to the game. So it may, take, it may still take five years, so I wouldn't expect Fallout 5 till 2021. 2022, you know, it's gonna be a while. So, yeah, I mean, it's possible confirmation. Well, those fans are out there, games are pretty long, anyways. I mean, you never know how long it's gonna take, especially with the yeah, Fallout franchise. Exactly. Now, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that great of a fan of Fallout. I like Skyrim a lot better than my cousin. Actually, y'all probably already know him. I play quite a lot. He's a big Fallout fan. He loves to play Fallout, so he's excited for it. I told him about it. He's like, what? No way. I'm like, yeah, dude, there might be a Fallout 5. He goes, when? Five years. He goes, oh. <laughs> Man, you can just see how, how sad he was about that. Oh, yeah. He tells me five years until the fifth game comes out. They're like, well, crap. No, that's not, that's not exciting news. 
No, it's very disappointing news. Yeah. Bug Hall has been a very good franchise, and it always will be a good franchise. So, for now. And we'll see We'll see if the Fall, four, uh, fall 5 flops, if it ever comes out. I mean, don't expect it, to be honest. Let's, let's be 100% honest. No one confirmed this. No tweet was asked to be taken down. It was just words that could be deciphered in different ways. By that, I mean it could actually be a DLC for the new for the Fallout 4. It might be a new DLC game, not game, but uh, extension to Fallout uh, 4. It's gonna be Fallout game now. Check. What's the best Call of Duty? It's gonna be Call of Duty games. Check. That's but, true. <laughs> <laughs> they need to get new names, you know, because Call of Duty is got Modern Warfare and shit like that. Just come up with different names. Not here, man. You don't know your shit. You're dead. I'm gonna be 100% honest right here. The two games of the year. I don't know, man. It's gonna be really close. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Great. But Fallout 5 will, will probably be the game of the year. When it comes out in 2021. Well, Fallout 4 was the game of the year when it came out. Yeah, but, but I mean, but it's gonna be five years. Now, let's be honest. That's the one. Probably gonna be, you know, that game of the year. Fighting with Forza. Is Forza, Forza's out, right? The new Forza, Forza game three, that's yeah. out. That's out. That's gonna be battle. It's gonna, it's gonna be Forza 3 and Forza, and, Forza uh, Horizon 3 and then, uh, yeah, sorry. Battlefield. And Battle 1. I think those are gonna be the two contenders for the game of the year. 100% honest with you. They both are amazing games. Nah, in my opinion, I haven't got a chance to play Forza 3. I don't know, when was I the know, last time really Call of game. Duty won a game of the year? Uh, Black Ops? Was it Black Ops or was it Black Ops 2? Black Ops 2? It was Black Ops 2. I thought it was Black Ops 2. Actually, I think Ghost might have done it. Well, the campaign for Ghost. It was a multiplayer game of the year. Talk me for the day for Chiku O. I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys really enjoy what we talked about. Fallout 5, possibility 2021, the possibility of Gears of War movie. Don't know what Gears of War is going to be on, but it's going to be on one of them. And of course, Battle for One, which we're going to be playing a ton of tomorrow. <laughs>